y'all. So I just kind of wanted to make a get dinner ready with me RV style. Um, I know I've been posting a lot of our adventures because we're always out doing stuff, um, but I just kind of wanted to show you what it's like in the RV and just living the RV life. So I'm just going to do some dishes quick. As you can see, there's not a lot of counter space. There's counter behind me, um, but this is like the biggest area to kind of work with. Um, so I'm just gonna do some dishes quick and then I'm doing a super simple um, dinner tonight. So I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm really gonna zoom in or anything. Um, just doing like barbecue chicken, broccoli and rice. So not really a recipe or anything crazy and yeah you can just kind of watch me like move around and it is a smaller space obviously than like a brick and mortar kitchen but it's not not doable i guess right okay all right so come eat dinner with me So it's actually almost four. So that's when I try to um, start making dinner. Um, Derek and I kind of tag team. He has the kids um, over at the beach um, just so I can get some dinner done without crazy kids running around. Um, but we usually start like a uh, nighttime routine around like seven, six thirty, seven. Um, so we eat dinner around five, kind of early. But I need this. Um, yeah, so we eat dinner around five. So I usually, I was like around 4.30 starting to um, make dinner and that just was not enough time. I just kind of underestimate how long it takes me to get stuff ready. <laughs> normal sink um nice uh not exactly a farmhouse sink but just one open sink it's not like the two sides which i love this style um and then we just have a drying mat here usually we have it over here but i like to move it over here when i'm cooking like i said to just have more counter space um but just i mean dish soap sponge just because you're in an rv doesn't mean it has to be anything special um the only thing different really is the water from the sink goes into a tank underneath and we have a little panel that tells us when it gets full and it just needs to be um, flushed out and emptied. So, um, who uses dish gloves? We, um, if you don't know, my husband, um, is prior military. And so we've met people from all over the place. And if you're not from like up North, we're originally from Pennsylvania, but if you're not from up North, people thought it was just like the craziest thing that we wore dish gloves. Sometimes I can like, if I'm doing like a few dishes real quick, I won't put the dish gloves on, but if I don't wear them, my hands get so dry and I'm already washing my hands all the time, you know, changing dirty diapers and everything. But let me know. I'm curious. And like, if you answer yes or no, if you wear dish gloves, tell me also where you're from, like what state you're from or where in the US or the country you're from. I'm curious if there's like a correlation. wasn't able to get them all done. I still have this big bowl in here, but obviously limited on space, so that'll be fun. I just wanted to clean up a little. Just have it not be 
so chaotic. Let's wipe this down. So in our RV, we have um, propane. Um, so not electric, we just have gas burners and gas oven. Um, so before I even start um, cooking and um, turning the um, oven and the stove on, I'm just gonna open this back window a little. Um, there is like a vent back there, but it just gets really hot and you can smell the propane. So we just kind of crack the window before we even start cooking. So I'm gonna put this collapsible strainer. These are awesome. I just have this back in our regular house and I love them. They're so great. Put that there. Best cutting board ever. I had this on one of my other videos, on my organization video. So just like a bamboo wood. And then in the back, it has all these inserts. All these inserts and on each one is like a little picture of what you cut on so you're not like cross contaminating so this is a chicken i'm gonna need that one fish beef bread random cheese tomatoes so i'm gonna get the you can see it the tomato tomato one out because i'm going to cut some broccoli up So I know it's small, but um, we have room for everything that you would have in a normal kitchen. We just have pretty much one of each. So this is the only pot we have. Um, and then we do have two pans. This is just a bigger one. And then just one baking sheet. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Might do both, but I'm gonna start with one. Dangerous times don't fly too high. Be sure to keep the it's kind of a nice thing too about like a smaller space I'm not having to like walk across the kitchen to throw stuff on the stove I literally just toss it right there So I just put some olive oil in the pan. I don't do anything crazy with our vegetables. Um, my son is a hit or a miss, whether he wants to eat them. Um, they actually do love broccoli though. Broccoli is like their favorite. Um, my daughter will house some broccoli. But she would rather eat raw vegetables. So when I do cook them, um, I just have a little bit of olive oil in there and then I just do like garlic powder, onion powder, and that's it. Maybe a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. And yeah, I have olive oil in there right now. I might do, um, we do, uh, we're dairy free for the most part. So we do plant-based butter. I might throw some of that in there. It still tastes like butter. It adds like that good, good buttery flavor to it. Without all the dairy. I hope y'all can hear me too. I'm trying this. I don't know if you can see it, this little microphone. I'm trying this for the first time because I speak very quietly. I want to 
Does anyone like struggle with overcooking? <laughs> or and by overcooking I mean like cooking too much. Or not enough. I'm like, hmm. That looks good. Now I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do the other one. This is great too because then, I mean, I used to cut on the same cutting boards. Obviously, as long as you wash it with hot water and soap, you're fine. Um, but this is kind of nice, especially when you have kids, you know, just make sure you're not cross contaminating anything. actually doing rice too so I'm gonna start that because that usually takes a while um I did I post that on I think I posted a story on um, Instagram but I um we love cooking rice we do like beef and rice bowls Lila loves rice they're so good but um, one of my little tricks is I boil uh, coconut milk instead of water and then cook your rice and it's so good. If you like coconut, it gives it that just like coconutty flavor. And then usually I have to add um, more liquid in when it boils. So I just keep the can and I'll just fill this up with water and dump it in. So we're going to boil this. And I'm gonna preheat the oven. So I'm just preheating it to 425. So we're just doing tin foil on a pan. I don't have cooking spray. So we're just gonna do this. I hear a truck, so Derek and the kiddos might be back. So if it gets too crazy, um, might just have to do voiceover because you all know the life of kids. No matter if you're in a brick and mortar house or an RV, <laughs> so crazy, still loud, but I wouldn't want it any other way. It means they're having fun, right? All right, good enough. My little energy boost. Okay. 
by the way, if you're on TikTok, go and follow my husband. I'll put the link in the description box below. But he makes his own coffee in the process of doing something cool. So go check out his TikTok. Mm. I wish you could taste it through the phone. So good. I did learn something too from my mom. Hey mom. Um, she prepares food and stuff at, at our local church and she's done like food and safety classes. And apparently you're not supposed to wash chicken. I don't know. Let me all let me know. Do y'all do that? Do y'all wash your chicken? I get, the goal one day is to have our own chicken. Not that I would. I just want their eggs, but let's see. This does anything. Keep refrigerated, cook thoroughly. Yeah, I don't know. Says not to wash it, so, well, she says not to wash it. And you know, mom was always right. I'm not gonna wash it. I'm just gonna, they're huge pieces, so I'm just gonna cut them into smaller pieces. And then literally all I'm doing, um, you're the kids, so before it gets crazy, I'm just gonna do like a little bit of garlic powder and then I'm just taking barbecue sauce, baby rays. That is Derek leveling the camper. It's a little uneven right now. Um, baby rays, barbecue sauce, and just brushing it on top, barbecue chicken, super easy. I'm using a knife, but um, tips from other mama, Derek's mom. She always used to make chicken and she taught us to poke it with a fork or a knife. Then it kind of lets all the flavors in. So that's pretty much it, y'all. I don't really have much more to say. The rice is cooking. So rice is cooking, chicken's gonna go in, and then broccoli. You thought I was doing laundry? No, not today. How was the beach? You went to the beach? Yeah? Was it fun? It was fun? You got fries? No, you didn't.
super easy. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the garlic powder. If you want, you can just do one side. I think I'm gonna flip out. Because we like some flavor. That was garlic powder. We're gonna do some onion powder. All right, and then super simple honey barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays, gluten free. Um, we also do gluten-free too, gluten-free, dairy-free. So I'm just gonna do like a little dollop on each one. And you can use whatever you have, fork, spoon. Um, this is my favorite though, if you have like one of these little butter brushes and just pat it around. And like I said, I don't, I don't know if I said this, but I love baking. I really don't, I mean, I'll follow a recipe, but as far as like measurements, you know, it's not like baking, so you don't have to follow exact portions. Um, I just do a lot of stuff like to taste. And then the same thing. And then I have the oven at 425. And I'm just gonna pop these in for like 20 minutes. And then I'll check the temperature and see if they need to need to cook longer. No, right here. Away from the oven. Right here. Come right here. Okay, over there. Come here, girls,
What was it? Uh, train. No, you don't put the train in the trash. Mommy. Sing it afterwards. Okay, hold on. Dear okay. Lord, thank you for this food. Pray you bless to our body. Thank you for everything. Uh, 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 In Jesus' name, amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you ready? ready? Okay. Jesus loves me. Subscribe!